Hi and welcome, I'm Serva and today I'm going to show you how to make sabzi polo or herb rice. This is a very popular Persian dish made with rice and lots of fresh herbs and garlic. This herby rice is fragrant, is flavorful and all the herbs make it super nourishing and healthy. You can use either fresh or dried herbs but I always prefer fresh herbs so either way is delicious so it's your choice. I think we have a lot of things to discuss today so let's get started. We start from the rice. Normally we use long grain rice such as basmati because we cook the rice pretty long and we need the rice to keep its texture until the end of cooking. To begin, in a large bowl, we're gonna wash the rice to remove any extra starch from the rice. Agitate the rice gently with your finger and then carefully drain the water. We repeat this process two or three times or until the water is clear when we agitate the rice. Then we're gonna cover the rice with water, add a tablespoon of salt and let soak for one hour at least and up to three hours. Soaking is optional and you can leave it if you don't have time but I do recommend soaking the rice as it has so many benefits. It helps speed up the cooking process, it improves the texture of the rice and it, it improves digestibility and nutrient absorption. Also it reduces arsenic level in the rice. The herbs we're gonna use in this rice are cilantro, parsley, and dill, one bunch each, green parts of two leeks, and one tablespoon dried fenugreek. We also use four cloves of garlic. You can omit the fenugreek if you're not fan of, but I like to use it. Then we're gonna start finely chopping all our vegetables. I know preparing all these herbs at home is very time consuming but nowadays we can buy these herbs for this special recipe from grocery shop. But of course the quality of what you prepare at home is much better than store bought ones. So what I do is that I usually batch prepare these herbs and freeze them to use them whenever I need them. Before chopping the leeks, we cut off the outer layer of the leaves, clean them, then we cut them in half moons and then we chop them thinly. Now we put all the chopped vegetables in a big bowl and wash them to remove any dirt from them and drain in a colander. Finally, we dice the garlics. Then in a large non-stick pot on high heat, we bring 6 cups salted water to a boil. Water should be salty because when we drain the rice later, the most part of the salt will be rinsed off. So no worries about extra salt. We drain the soaked rice and add it to the boiling water and cook it on medium high heat until the grains are long, soft on the outside and hard in the center. This step takes 5 to 10 minutes depending on the quality of the rice and soaking time. If you have soaked your rice, it cooks faster. You can check the rice by taking some rice out and pressing between your finger. It should be soft on the outside and hard in the center. Also, I see some horizontal lines on the rice and I learned from my sister when I see these lines, I know it's time to drain the rice. Then we're gonna drain the rice using a strainer. Rinse the pot and rinse the rice under cold water. Now we're gonna place the pot back on the stove on medium heat and when it's dry add some oil, move the pan to evenly cover the bottom. Add some turmeric to the oil or you can use saffron or you can completely omit it if you don't like. Then cover the bottom of the pot with potato slices. Make sure to not overlay the potatoes. As the rice cooks, these potatoes make tahti 
which is a crusty and crunchy layer at the bottom of the pot and it's very typical for Persian rice but making a great tahdig is a little bit tricky and needs some experience so if it's your first time making this dish don't expect having a great tahdig then sprinkle some salt then we're gonna transferring our pre-cooked rice first we spoon a third of the rice over potatoes then add a third of the herbs and a third of garlic repeat the layering with the remaining ingredients until all our ingredients are in the pot Make sure to not pack the rice and not fill the pot with ingredients, otherwise there will be no space for steaming. Then gently mix the top layer and move the rice from the sides of the pot and bring to the center. This way uh, you make some space on the side for steaming. Now to make a perfect rice and crunchy tahdik, we're gonna wrap the lid of the pot with a clean kitchen cloth or towel to prevent the moisture from going back in the pot and make our rice and tahdik soft and soggy. Place it on the pot and then cook over medium high heat until the rice starts to steam. This takes 10 to 15 minutes. Then uncover the rice and place butter slices evenly on the top of the rice. Cover again, reduce the heat to low and steam again for another 30 to 40 minutes or until the rice is fragrant and tender. There you have it, our Persian sabzi polo is done. It looks great and you can see how amazing the texture is and it's unbelievably fragrant and delicious. Now, before plating, we're gonna scoop some rice into a bowl and toast with some saffron water that we have already prepared. Now, we're gonna plate the rice and top it with this beautiful saffron rice. This golden spice gives the rice beautiful color and pleasant aroma. It also has so many health benefits that you don't want to miss it. And now comes the exciting part, tahdik. These crunchy and crusty potatoes that are amazingly delicious. Break them into pieces and enjoy alongside your rice. Traditionally, this rice is served with fish or meat, but today we're gonna serve it with chicken, soup, and some yogurt sauce. You can serve it with your favorite sauce or vegetable and just enjoy it. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you give it a try soon. The link to this recipe as always can be found in the description box below. If you have any tips and comments, feel free to share with me in the comments. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you later.